Duke in. I should have just killed you anyway in front of everybody. I did both sides. <laughs> um, for whatever reason, my audio box isn't working. So we're having a little fun with the filters, it looks like. done what you know I've been looking for a long time to try to figure out what the hell I wanted to do with like showing off the second shaved side and I had the hardest time figuring it out until I tried this today and it looks super dope and I'm really excited about it does the mic sound okay again I don't know why it's not reading the audio box today Thanks all. So, I have a guide on how to build this thing. And, uh, I've never done this in my life. So, You wish you could braid your hair like that? Gamer Lady, it took me like 32 seconds to braid my hair like this. I got this. I'm ready. Hey, Amber. Hey, Clef. I'm going to give a minute for I'll come up in here. So, <laughs> I actually wasn't planning on doing this today. Well, I kind of was. I had requested I had ordered a motherboard and it was supposed to show up yesterday and it didn't and I was really devastated by it um, and so I was like well I wonder if they have any in stock at Best Buy and so <laughs> Um, dude, Shauna, Dan's great, right? He cracks me up. But so, I went and looked on Best Buy's website, and they had the X550 without the Wi-Fi. But they didn't have anything at Best Buy for me to pick up today that would, like, allow me to do the Wi-Fi. So I was like, well, fuck that. But Dugan found this at Best Buy, and he was like, well, you could just, you know, upgrade it a little bit more. And I was like, well, okay. Why not? This is the 
the 570, Mog. I stepped it up even a further notch. I think it was like 50 bucks or something. Hello. Hey, Wingload, how are you? I'm just about to get this bit started. Maybe. So I haven't actually, like, I've looked at a couple of these things. Um, pretty much only the video card. So I actually don't know what's up in this box. Oh, this is a singular screw in a bag. What do I need a singular screw in a bag for? Yeesh. Stickers that are already stuck to other things. <laughs> Dukin, I don't know if you meant for gamer ladies, mocks or Shauna's, and that was all wonderful. Oh look, here's another one. Fantastic. A quick installation guide, that sounds like pertinent information. For hey Noor! Hey Josh, how are you? Y'all are popping off tonight. Why are all you nerds so excited to be, yes, I did, I found the instructions. Um, so excited about PC building. I mean, I'm also excited, but it's my PC. Because, because we're nerds, forehead. I can't fight with you on that. Nerds got me nerds. I put on gloves for this. I didn't really honestly know if I needed gloves, but they made me feel better, like mentally. I'm very nervous I'm gonna break something. Like <laughs> this, trying to get it out of this box. What packaging engineer designed to this garbage? Band-aids, but not gloves. Why do I need band-aids? No, no spoilers from Cyberpunk, except yes, I already have seen the things about the penises and the pubic hair. Y'all spoiled that for me yesterday in Shaolin's chat. I have my drink over here, so I don't have to touch it. And I can just lean over. What am I gonna need? I mean, I did cut my hand the other day on a bottle cap. That was a twist off. I was trying to open this damn bottle with a pair of scissors. It was a twist off bottle cap. I'm just an idiot. I will do just that. I have the metal, the, this desk has, oh yeah, I guess you can't see the edges. It has a metal frame and a glass top. Y'all are supervising me right now. There are 15 of you supervising me. I'm all right. Is there like a, not a safe place to touch this? How do I handle this? <laughs> You're fully ready to scream. <laughs> Listen. Pulling out is no fun. I've, I've never taken apart a computer. I've never put a computer together. The last time I had a desktop, I'm sure Duke can give you the specs on it, 
we couldn't even use the case because it was so old that it would too it wouldn't fit any of the new things in it. Um, if you don't want babies, get birth control. Okay. So we got the motherboard out. CPU time, right? <laughs> what are all these for? Is this cable management? Oh, I see. It's their labels. I do not have a pen in here. Unfortunate. Metal bar on socket first. Th this? This wee little metal bar? Lift it up, it's a latch. All right, all right. <laughs> this is already super fun for me, guys. Uh -huh. All right. There should be something plastic that comes off, right? Push down on the tray's arm and pull it out. Lift it to open up the socket and the protective plastic will fall out. Nope. That's for Intel. Okay. So it's fine just where it is. Good. Got it. I am reading a thing on how to do like Intel stuff, so that sounds reasonable. There's my metal. My feet aren't even on the floor. I put a box under me because of the carpet, but I'm too afraid to put my feet down. I'm not super nervous or anything. Thanks, Mark. That's not gonna cut anything. You're here for the charade? That's fun. I opened the box. I like how this is just like the teeny bit of this. And the rest of this is the fucking CPU cooler. Please read. Do your updates. That's pretty much what that little thing says. Yo, Mock, I don't know if you actually looked at the case that I ended up picking out. It's got three fans in the front and one in the back. I'm super excited about it. Okay, I probably don't need this box anymore. So we will just put you to the side. Other boxes. Touch metal. Okay. So we got this. Your CPU should have some small half circle indents, making it easy to line up and install properly. I was gonna, but I ended up not. Because, well, I wanted to find just this by itself, but nobody was selling just this. They were only selling, like, the kits. And so I was like, well, fuck it, it's fine. I mean, this cooler's pretty, too. It's still RGB. Triangles on AMD. Okay. <laughs> what is acceptable to touch? 
Do not touch the bottom lock. You're like fucking on it. Before I can even ask the questions, you're like, don't be dumb, Stim. Okay. I'm afraid to touch anything. It's beefy. Okay. Put that right back down for a second. <laughs> Do not lick the bottom. If I were Norwegian, I'd think about it. What way does it go in? It's a gold triangle. There's little triangles in the corner. Oh yeah, there's the little gold triangle over in this corner. <laughs> oh, the triangle on the board. I don't, I don't see a triangle on the board. I got extra lights for this biz. So it's weird you're being kind of scientist down all because I can't imagine any room would remain a clean room anywhere near you. Hey, Rozo! The great beauty of nerdum. Thanks, Dugan. You all get to see the back of my head and <laughs> enjoy it. has like a tiny oh you can do it camera focus hey soup focus The light makes you mad? Is that really what it is? All right, that's fine. Um, opposite corner of the metal bar, yeah, this one. That's what I was thinking, because it has like a little tiny, I wouldn't call it a triangle, but it's like, they are all are triangles, but that one has like a minute cutout. Really, camera, please focus. That's my hand. This is still my hand. You can do it. You have autofocus for a reason. Printed dot. No, they're purple. Okay, that upper corner, this gold one. Yep, okay, I am prepared. Woo, it went right in. I, yeah, I don't know what's up with this camera. Well, that was easy. God, you guys scared the shit out of me. That's hand. 
How is that the hardest bit? Do I drop this little lever bang down now? Hey, there's the focus. We got it. Dope as hell. It's a little stiff. <laughs> okay, good. I was gonna say... We're killing it. Killing it. Alright. Next is the SSD, right? Right? You got that. I might have to do some reading. <laughs> Duke and Amok are just like, what the fuck ever. Just keep doing stuff. <laughs> I have a hair. I was a huge Lego fan when I was a kid. Oh, it might help if I open it from the top. Like an intelligent human being. Okay. PC building is pretty much Legos. Yo, I had a Batman Lego, Batmobile Lego thing when I was a kid, it was dope as shit. Alright. Hmm. Good to know. The internet tells me that I'm supposed to read to figure out which slot this goes into. Hey, peace and love, how are you? Rosa, it's just fine if you're a little excited by this. Apparently everyone is. Hey, Diphelia, how are you? Welcome back. DM if you are struggling. DM'd me where? I'm struggling on opening packages. Or you want me to DM you if I'm struggling? Oh. Dugan's voting that one. Let's see what dirty stuff is on my phone. Rosa, if you're into people making babies and watching that, that's all you. I'm guessing so these pins match up with that. That seems reasonable. Yep, dope. Okay. I'm not used to being this gentle with things. Does it just 
I assume that it's supposed to slot in. I don't want to push too hard. Probably needs one of those screws. Yeah, probably. If I can get it in. Oh, I did it. It took a little bit of force. Like, not much, but some. And it keeps popping up. I mean, everything takes a little bit of force. Okay. These are both the same size screw. Listen, Mock, that's my normal MO, is just ramming it in there. I'm trying to be delicate. Okay? Okay. I have a tiny screwdriver for this. I hear Dukin said I was going to need the tiny screwdriver. Ah, DJ. I was driving into work today. And there was a car flipped on 66 right before Flagstaff Ranch Road. I just used a drill. Now who's being unnecessarily rough, Ma? Damn it. Should have brought some tweezers in here. Gotcha, you tiny bastard. It was a truck, but yeah. We've been starting to get ice and snow, and it looked like somebody didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Aha. Dope! We are well on to our way. I didn't hear any ambulances or anything, so sure. Ram next? I know where these go, they go over here. Do I know which slots? I do not. This is where I have to read, right? It's directly on the motherboard. Well, let's read. This, this one sticker. Also, I don't know if you guys can read what this says, but I like it. It says, play hard, stay silent. I do not see anything that gives me an indication of which ones to use. A2, B2. Quick as shit, ma. Now. This is gonna freak the camera out again. Nah, we got it. Alright, cool. A2, 
A2, B2, huh? That doesn't help me with what's what. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. No, Rowan, I'm trying to figure out which one of these is A and B. A1, A2, B1, B2. So A2, B2. Go. Okay. Get it. Have you printed anything fun, Mark? Um, hey Solid, how are you? One thing about music is it can't be pigeonholed with which brand you call it. Oh, there's more than one era that's cold. Oh, we can find two genres, decades apart, but we're uniting them, then we mix them together to make sweet better. Even their prayers ain't denying it, but I didn't want to do this. All of my arms have assembled a team of like minded friends. The finest musical minds like a fine. <laughs> Fucked up a long print and I haven't touched it since. Yo, Mock, that's exactly how it went with my first print on my 3D printer. I feel that. I do. Um, Mock, thanks for answering that question that I definitely couldn't have answered by myself. <laughs> I was just going to ignore it and act like I didn't see it like a dick. Okay. Is there a right or a wrong way? Do I need to take the sticker off? Sticker makes it faster. Keep it on. Rune, I don't know if I believe you. Is this gonna fit? Oh, the tab snap back! Oh, oh, oh. Well, this tab snaps back anyway. I got it. Wrong slot. What? A two B two. Yes, it is. Okay, let's try it again. At least I'm putting it in the right way. I think. Does this one also snap back? No, that one doesn't feel like it snaps back. This doesn't... Only one side snap back for Dukins? Okay. There's like a little, um, on this side there's a little... Okay, this is where, okay, that's what I was about to ask because I had like a lot of resistance. On that side. How deep do I put it? Oh, like the clip on the side? 
That's not all the way in. Okay. I'm really terrified. This is really scary. You need to use a lot of force. Satisfying. No, I'm good. I got it. This clip pin popped up. I can imagine Mock sitting at his computer right now. He is just like pressed into the screen. Mock, am I doing better or worse than Lorea? motherboard for this right now moment okay that's fair also oh, what's the sticker about please hold Joey Bebo sent me over mmm Willem Dafoe what up Jake thanks for the follow makes it faster. We covered this ruin. You're gonna keep saying that? But it's just so weird. Okay. Thermal paste and CVU cooler. Thermal paste. Ready. Show me the bottom of the clock. <laughs> Mock wants to see my bottom. Where am I sticking it? On top of the CPU case. The thing that I was gonna lick earlier, got it. Dude, you can clean off your spatula. Bad artist. It's got dog hairs on it. <laughs> you know, I had for like a hot minute 
thought about telling my father that I was building a PC tonight, and then I was like, no, he doesn't need to see that. I know you, chat. You're all dirty. Alright, so you want a wee tiny bit. On top of this? Really? Yes, more. Okay. This thing. <laughs> you guys, I'm like super sus. Alright. This is what, what chat demands of me. you ruin since you're my number one sub what about Boris Johnson did you just post do I want to know excluded technical term mod all the way to the edges. How thoroughly does this need to be covered? Okay. Dope. That was fun. It is a bit like arts and crafts. Then layer over the whole thing. Well, I have some more left on the spatula. Assuming I'm lining these clipperoos up with the clips on the side. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And I wipe everything on my pants because my pants are gross. Which way am I putting this beast on? This way? There's probably a little rubber tab thing on the side of it. There are these like metal fucking clasps. This? This little rubber thing? Do I leave it or do I pull it off? Does it make it go zoom? You can pull that out, and there will be plugs. Oh! Sure enough. Ta-da! Go! Alright, cool. That doesn't answer 
answer my question of, like, obviously it's oriented this way, but does it matter if it's this way or this way? This thing is going to be extra. I wasn't going to do RGB, but this thing just ended up being all RGB. Whatever's easier, okay. Got it. Yes? I got both sides latched. Stop getting hit by trains. That's been like three since we moved here. That looks too easy, but I did. All right, look. Uh, let's see. I got a latch on this side, like for sure. This is latched. Seriously injured, but still alive. Can you? No, the whole thing moves, including my desk. Maybe I'm just good at things, some things. Okay, it's on there. Now what? Case time? The latch is all the way down. Well, let me see if I can do this. If you can see the lever, it has like an up position that kind of pulls on those tabs and then it has like a down position. Like if I push it up this way, the latch isn't down. This way. Fuck ton of force. Oh lord. Oh my good gravy. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, now that isn't going anywhere. Yep, yep, we're good. fantastic I love having all of you here this is probably gonna be my favorite stream of all time dope 
Alright, yeah, that's definitely not going anywhere now. So, CPU fan in first. Okay. into this little thing here. Aha. Uh -huh. you yet? Uh, probably not. No. Power supply? No. I've only done the motherboard stuff. tonight. Licking them. Touching them. Throwing stuff in them. Looking at them. So I'm cleaning up just a tiny bit. Dude, and you're talking about like things that all of these places were gonna give me. This one's dope. It's a little shield with a dragon on it. Oh god. Okay. I don't think I need any of that right now. I'm going to shift this over here and green screen. Sorry, don't know what's happening. That is the top of the case. I might want to move my camera. Case. I already took off the front panel and the back wiring panel. Dugan instructed me to do that before we started. That's fine, Ruin. Mock's here for as long as he manages to stay awake. And I have the internet if, like, shit gets shifty. Can I lay this on its side? Okay. I'm getting attacked by wiring. There's already so many wires. Do so. Side preference? Wire side up? Wire side down? We'll do wire side down. Here we are. Wire side down. 
go. We got one, two, three, four fans. Try not to pinch the cables. I was very careful of that. I, I do know that much about cable and wiring. So, CPU, or uh, power supply, I mean. That's this big beastie over here. Oh, for those of you who like unwrapping. So satisfying. Stripping, if you would. Drinking Kraken or gay? So I honestly can't tell with that response. Oh, he's drinking gay rum. This isn't even as interesting as it gets. Passed it on to Duke and I see. Okay. Big beefy power supply. Oh my, I know you were. a shit face stream with you ma like we can play anything when I'm done building this all right so I have all the motherfucking cables I'm sorry, there was more. More motherfucking cables. Teeny tiny screws. This fun adapter. And what I can only assume is the actual power supply. Just finished four eight pins, one twenty four pin. This thing smells nice. Is that weird? Oh, thanks. I did both sides today. It smells super good. They do. It does. It does smell nice. What am I doing with this big honking thing? Besides obviously putting it somewhere in this area. Fan goes down, I assume. goes up.
Bye, Ruin. If I put the fan up, then the on-off switches would be upside down. That sounds kind of weird. I'm thinking it's supposed to go down. I'm mad sauce and monk. Oh, normally it goes up. Fan up. Ah. Oh. Okay. I will trust you all. I assume this end goes facing out so that I can plug it in. Just shouting going on. No, yep, for you. That thing weirds me out. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my hands. It screws on on the back of the case. Does that mean I need to flip the whole bad boy over? Oh, I see it screws on in the front here. I see. Oh, I see, I see. Sorry for this light. It's funky for you guys. Yeah. You said fan up, right? Yep, fan up, okay. Sorry, Mark. I don't know if you're talking about the light or my stupidity. I don't we appreciate you even like Yes, this is my very first PC build. I've never taken a PC apart. I've never upgraded a PC. I have either only owned laptops or pre-builds. Agreed. 
Even if they're fucking sass assholes, I do appreciate you all. Are you streaming Cyberpunk again tomorrow? I guess I no longer need to do this. I'm shocked that I got four sh or three out of four screws in left handed. titties I screwed it in you sat there and watched me do it yeah cuz now I'm gonna have to plug a bunch of fucking shit in aren't I damn it's fan up which Apparently means it's about to be upside down, but I put it in the way you told me to Right Yeah, it's definitely fan like towards the top of the case Get the motherboard in. Oh, well, now I gotta flip this bitch back over. Aight. stands already put in it. Are you drinking my IPAs? Yo, I have a very fine fucking taste in IPAs. I did, I did say he could have some. What am I doing with the motherboard? Y'all forget that I'm dumb. Do you just plop it in? Your 
digging in and seeing if the holes line up with the pegging. This, yeah, this looks like I'm definitely gonna need a, a couple more stands, I think. Maybe. three stands. What the hell did I do with my extra stands? Listen! I'm doing my damnedest! I'm gonna have to take it back out so I can add these three other stands in though. not go in there easy. That one did. You just suck. Are we not lined up? You want to try a different hole? Sometimes the first hole is not the right hole. wants to grow in crooked. Why though? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, love is like a red, red rose, and I am a little thorny. Thanks for those bitties. Mock not like getting out the X. There it goes. It's just a snug fit. Alright, cool. Extra stands are in. Let's pop this bad boy back in. I even put on real pants today because Dugan said that I probably shouldn't wear my fuzzy pants while doing this.
It came with all of these screws. types of tiny screws in fact <laughs> these are all different screws oh of course now you don't want to focus on my hands I'm guessing the tiniest of them Does the motherboard have something under it? No, why? Like, in the PC right now? No. Does it need to have something? Oh, the case has a box under it on this side. No, the motherboard is flush in the case, but the case is slightly tilted. Yeah. So there are two tiny screws. One has like a very faint collar and the other does not. No, they were just all thrown in the bag together. So this one has the tiny collar, and this one you can see is just more like a regular screw. Look in the manual, that's fair. I can do that. Interesting. Is the fan supposed to have another cord coming out of it? Oh, I guess that's if you want a strip of RBG. Cool shirt. Thanks. Page seven, I think. This is what page seven looks like. Back panel connectors.
Oh, I guess this might be a case. Do I need to be looking in the case manual for this? I am. This. and see if there's anything in the box out in the living room. Rosa, you're being so flattering tonight. Flattering. That's a processor one. I mean, to be honest, one of these looks like it'll fit and the other one maybe not so much. Nothing in the box. See Discord. Glad I'm doing this on a Friday night. my screw question. I guess that's the non-collared screw. From that angle, it's very hard to tell. I'm going with non. ones are a little skinnier in the thread department. That's definitely not right. Maybe? Oh, yeah it is. Alright, I figured it out. Keep on trucking through colored ones. So I do one of my long ass hairs in this case. I braided my hair back so that wouldn't happen. Imagine being Sherlock with his dreads. Yo, that was so fucking hilarious when he was sending us those pictures of what he was trying to like do. I couldn't tell if that was metal or plastic through my gloves. Oh. 
for sure like needed a headband for that task, for real. Also, interestingly enough, the reason that I have these gloves is because they're the same ones that I wear when I dye my hair. If you guys want to see something that looks like a crime scene photo, check out my bathroom after I dye my hair. Dope, okay. Motherboard screwed in. Killing it. Hell yeah. Yo, we trucking on through. My figs to defer. Time for cable pain. I don't know. I do, Mark. It was Dukin. Dukin thought ahead on that, y'all. Let's all applaud Dukin. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so wiring time. This German music though. Four eight pins, one twenty-four pin. So we got CPU. Also CPU. Okay, so we got a like a split CPU and this CPU one is mooshed. Mooshed. No, they're both split. I lied. Those are both labeled CPU. The four eight pins and the one We got VGA. This one's just labeled EVGA. Oh, no, this one's VGA as well. <laughs> it is not Hurry Up Shrimp, but it is the song that he sings when he has bad breath. Dugan, yes. Yes. Yo, I made like the weirdest swing playlist I could manage. There are so many fucking, okay. Break yourself from the joy of this song. What type of chord am I looking for? Hey, Haphazard DM, how are you? Like, is it gonna be labeled something? There's so many fucking cables. Is it this one? This one has so many motherfucking plugs on it. Some should break on one end. Six plus two and four plus four. Here's one that's six plus two. This one is four plus four. This is the 24. Beef. So yeah, this is six plus two, and this is four plus four. Both of those are labeled CPU. You want to plug in the twenty-four pin. And the EPS 12 volt cable? Oh, it's time for the dogs to have dinner. Well, I at least know that I have to do the 24 pin one. Should I plug things into the, the power supply before I plug them into the motherboard? Oh look, it's labeled MB for motherboard. PSU for power supply. Yup. I'm into this. Cool. Uh, your camera angle might be a little funky because I'm going to have to think. I think I'm going to stand this bad boy up. I 
can still lean this down, right? Now that the motherboard's in, or no? Yeah, I shouldn't have screwed that in. I might have to take that back out. I mean, I got tiny ass hands, but I don't think they're that tiny. to plug into the power supply. Everything? Am I going to use every single one of these cables or because this thing is a modular power supply unit I'm not going to need all of them? plug in what you need. So we got the motherboard one, which Okay, we got motherboard. Spooky. Yo, this used to be a ride at King's Island. Where the fuck Hooch at? He knows what I'm talking about. Haunted Mansion was dupe, dope. Then they turned it into the Scooby Doo Mansion. It sucked. Kidding land, there was like a haunted thing that you would go through, and it was just like a sitting ride. Okay, Mox said something about four eight pin. Mock, I'm stupid. I don't know what you keep meaning when you say four eight pin. Am I looking for a VGA one, VGA two, CPU one, CPU two? Perif? Well, eight spots for pins. This one has 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 eight spots for pins. And this one has eight spots for pins. There are one, two, three, four, five, six different ones that have eight spots for pins. <laughs> I'm not trying to be difficult, I swear to you.
Okay. CPU. Both of those are four splits. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick bio break because I'm sorry, Mock. What you're saying is like not helping me at all. Um, so I'm just gonna have Duking come in here and show me. So we're gonna be right back. That was fun. Okay, so some of these l cables weren't labeled the way that you were saying they should have been mocked, so I was just like... But anyway, I've got it now. This is the 4 and 4 split. I have the 4 and 4 split. I have two of those. Those are the two of those. Then here's the 6 and 2. Also a 6 and 2. Yeah, they're late. yeah. So they're not labeled PCI. You were saying pin count, and I get where you were coming from, but I'm stupid, Mock. Like, extra stupid. Alright. So this is a four split. goes into CPU. Get it. I got it now. Do I need both CPU ones or just one? Computer dumb. If it hadn't been for Dukin and Mock like suggesting things to like buy for my PC, I wouldn't have even made it this far. So, all right, both the CPU ones are plugged in. Split ends are loose. The six two connector, two of those as well. Go. 
Mox at home drunk, shaking his head at me. Like, damn. Anything else need to be going back in here? Or is this what I'm working with? Stop comparing me to her, Mock. God, you told me one story and now I'm like self-conscious that we might be similar on any level. Okay, am I ready to pop this bad boy back in? <laughs> I'm just giving you shit, Mock, don't worry about it. Does any of these wires need to plug in? No, there's no place to plug those in. It's fine. these SATA ones are. They look like this though. What kind of plug is that? To what new horizons can we look now? Where are tomorrow's opportunities? Yeah, I know it's SATA. Do I need it? Thank you. Do, you. do I need to put anything else in? I asked Mock, but he's off in drunk gay land. Okay. All right, cool. Now we can put this bad boy back in. Fan up. Fan up. Fuck's sakes. Back when I was in college, um, I worked for this company outside of Dayton, Ohio. And it was this little family owned thing that I have met some guy at a party and he was like, oh, you're a college student? Do you want a part-time job? We're looking for braiders. And I was like, the fuck are you talking about, sir? And they were literally looking for people to come and braid the casing for electrical harnesses that were going into, like, cars. And I worked there during college, and it was dope because they just let me work whenever the fuck I wanted. Telling 
You know what? If somebody breaks this PC, I can't even blame it on Hubba Dub. I will 100% say that I probably did it. Oh, that you're awake? Why? Are you supposed to be sleeping? It's the weekend. Who gives a shit? Who's the Ray? Your mom? Mike, you can <laughs> go to bed if you're tired, my dude. I got Dukin. All right, power supply is back in. Now I have to feed all these cables through, right? Cable management. I'm gonna suck at this bit. Okay, there's a lot of shit going on. says SATA power on it. Could just not manage them. Are you sure I don't need SATA power? Does this just get tucked away? Enjoy yourself down there. If I don't need it, then I believe you guys. I didn't know if it was gonna power the fans or something. Okay, 24 pin module. Middle. Does it need to be powered or is it just like that's how I do the colors? Stim is still computer stupid. Typically banned from the stream room. Which one is this one? Six two bottom. Where's the other six two? Six two look like this, and this six two look like this. Did I get the wrong six two? Shit! Here's another six two. Fuck. Duke might have led me wrong. Okay, it's fine. from my face before I started doing this. So, you know, I didn't have anything obscuring my view.
Okay, and so. Who are you? Where do you go? Mock officially hates me after this. He's still awake and drinking and suffering, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my keebles are greatly managed, as you can see. They're just everywhere. I don't know what this fucking thing is. LED power, a USB 3.0 port, HD audio. Yeah, Soup's here, shouting at me. Everybody's enjoying, like, shouting. Rosa and um, Nor might still be here. T-Rex is here. It's a party. Front panel shit. Does it need to be in the front, or can it hang out back here for now? It is a party! Front tail shit. It goes into the motherboard later. Okay, then we're gonna just plug what we got into the motherboard for now. I'm not gonna tip this back over on its side because, woo! I assume you mean the stuff on the top of the case. Enjoy your alert, Sherlock. We're gonna do some moving. you can kind of see in there, even if it's wonky as shit. All right. Let me punch my mic like six more times this evening. All right. So much shit going on in here. Then. Okay. Thanks, Dukin.
now we have the the four splits. There's a six and two split. Should be above the cooler. Yeah, there's a six, there's one six two split right there. Does it matter which one? No, that's a, that's an eight and a four split right there. Should be an eight and a four. So what plugs into that? Yeah, I'll get the build specs put up on my page at some point. Whichever half of the four plus four that fits. So one of the six and twos and half of a four and four. No. eight pin. I have two fours and two six and twos. The four plus four. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. All right. Dear Cable. Man, I hope they're long enough. So one whole 4-4 four, four goes in, and then half of the other 4-4 four, four goes in. Right? Trying to get these in straight. Somehow the top down made this easier.
And it doesn't matter which half of us, right? I want my light filter. Take that little sticker off the fan. This. Nice. Play hard, stay silent. card time. Oh, I'm so excited for this video card, you guys. My video card is incredibly beautiful. This happened to be a little bit of random happenstance because I was struggling to find a video card that was in stock. So, as you can see, yeah, it's huge. Three fans. The back has these fucking fantastic inlaid gears on it. Cause you know that's my thing. It was very serendipitous. Can I take the stickers off? Is Nora around? He loves this. <laughs> ah. Fantastic. Sim, yeah, sure. But they're so pretty, look at them. Mom, did you not notice, like, everywhere behind me? Satisfying. Anyway, yes, this is my video card. It's a beast. <laughs> no. Way. What am I doing with this gigantic thing? Oh, is this the what we were discussing about? How I'm gonna have to pop out some of these tabs in the back? Two eight pin connectors to power that beast. Yeah, I bet.
Nora, I know that you're playing something because I saw it pop up. Do you like peeling sunburns? I love peeling sunburns. Duke and I'll tell you. I know it's gonna go in like this, right? that question for you. Nice. Okay. So it has wee plastic cover. Do I pull this off? Right here? I assume yes to expose the pins, but what do I know? It's got a little arrow on it that... Oh! Yes. And like this, right? it in yet I'm just trying to figure out which one of these like things I need to pop out Amber I thought you in specific would like them just so you know I probably should have done this before I put the motherboard in. But they're wiggly. You can get them out. Everybody's giving me mixed signals on this biz, so you know, whatevs. Could you be a little rougher about it, please? Damn, where'd those little tiny ass screws go? Oh yeah, there's only one.
this push back. Yep. Rosa, did you build your own PC? No. Oh shit, did I pop out the wrong ones? Totally did. Damn. Well, that's all right. No biggie. to come in and be fucking ruthless. I love it. Good night, T-Rex. Chat's popping off, but I'm not looking. Are you not gonna fit in that hole? Please fit an A hole. An hole, not A hole. Curves. I need like a fourth and fifth hand. What the fuck are you talking about? Look at those gears! Ugh! Good. Alright, alright. Oh, good night, Bonk!
legit one. Oh, that's probably why. You can do it. I might need a bigger screwdriver. Need to be a little rougher. And that one just isn't giving me the leverage I need. As I said, it was very serendipitous um, that the gears, because I had such a problem finding the video cards, um, that this was the one that was available with the chipset that I wanted. And I had already like lined my ass up to buy it, like I found it online. And it wasn't until I was like looking at it on their website that I noticed it had the gears and I was like, well this is fucking fantastic and meant to be. I was making this much harder on myself than I needed. Big surprise. Where are you at, little fuckers? Yeah. Alright, video card is in. What is next? fuck up. Finish up that wiring, yo. Dope. Is this all the, like, top button shit now? I also have this wee baby. these extra wires, right? That came with the power supply. I'm feeling cluttered. That's right, I need to angle this because I think my webcam is set to for it to be upside down. Nope. Nope. Things almost too big for my desk. And by this thing is almost too big for my desk, I mean that this mounted monitor here is making things a bitch. 
All right. Now that you can see ish what I got going on. Ish. Do I have it upside down still? Top. Middle. Bottom. Okay, no. Here we go. Okay. This thing is much heavier with all the shit in it. Imagine that. Alright. So I have all this biz and all this biz. kind of see what things are. So this bundle has HD audio, a USB 3.0, and a USB. Do these all plug into the motherboard? And then power switch. Things labeled on the motherboard for this. Okay, so but they do need to be fed through to the front. Well, let me flip this beast back around. Okay. Alright. So the wiring, HD audio. USB 3.0, USB, and these little ones are labeled power, switch, HD, LED plus, okay. Are you sure? It's so bitty, fuck. Are you sure that I don't need to power supply that other thing on the back? Because it looks like all of the fans are plugged into it. And I'm afraid the front fans won't work if we don't have anything going to it. This? Cause that's where like all these fan cables are going. Reset switch, fan one, two, three, which are the ones on the front. Are you sure this doesn't need power? This is one of those SATA power cables. both y'all and Mock about that question twice. And y'all were like, you don't have any SATA drive. You don't need that. I'm like, but are you sure though? Hey, kitty kid. How are you? Thank 
Thank you, I did both sides. Add a little touch of fun. Did you? I'm sad I missed it. Yo, I would have had that on back in the background of my biz. This is a strange cable. How these SATA cables are like that? They have this weird split. Split thing. Yeah, cause you're right, here's the trays for those. If I had them, which I don't. And I don't see anything that looks like it plugs into the motherboard either. I mean, aside from... build um, ever in my life. The power and USB will connect to the motherboard. The SATA cable will connect to the power supply. Will the one already reach? Will this? This plugs into the motherboard somewhere? It might. It's a fairly long cable. But I think this, I think the SATA cable was a pin connector. Well, the SATA cable reached the piece. Let me bust out my camera, hold on. Or my flashlight, I mean. Yeah, the SATA in here, in the PCU, it looks like pins. So it would be this, this end of it. It looks like these two would connect together. What am I doing? It looks like these two would connect together and then this end would plug into the power supply. There is no slot for this to plug directly into the power supply. It's all pin connectors. Yeah, do that. Fuck. I'm gonna have to take the power supply back out. Not that that's frustrating or anything. Let's try. 
Let's try with my teeny tiny hands to see if I can get this in there. Likely not, but we're gonna give it a go because I really don't want to take the power supply out. I don't even know if you guys can even remotely see what I'm doing anymore. No, there's no freaking way. Of course, Posada is like way in the back. All right. Fun. Cool. So we gotta take the power supply back out. I don't feel great about tilting the case on its side now that the video card's in. So, y'all are gonna get to look at my face for a little bit while I manage this. I'm learning a lot about PCs. I know I don't have a SATA drive, but I was like, this cable is labeled SATA, are you sure though? Rely on no one. Thanks. I keep trucking. Cable. Both these SATA cables are super uh, extra e stuff, I think. One of these is labeled SATA. I want that one. Where was it? I thought I wanted this one. Okay. What is this one? That's a Perif, not you. You're also Sada, you're the same, okay. Such is life. Now we know. That's what I get for recruiting drunks to help me. Hey Shauna. Um, only one minor hiccup so far, so yes. That was the sound of the power supply going kerchunk as it went back in. to just plug it in. Who would have? PC building. It's just plugging it in.
do the thing. Yes. Okay. We back. cables and now we have this which is the SATA. The SATA now has like three ends to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one in. Okay so that's done and I assume this is just gonna Snuggle itself right back here. That's where we're going to put you for now. In our hot mess of trying to manage cables. give you a quick twist I I had like 10 jillion of them there they all are in case cable management is your thing I don't want to deprive anyone of their joy We still gotta find this thing. Let me put you through here for now. Actually, hold on. Let's turn this bad boy around so we can start looking for these things. Pretty fuck. Okay. So things on this HD audio and USB. Let's find those first. I have J audio, JRGB, JTPM. System fan one, two, three, four. J USB one. J Rainbow one. I found J USB three that looks like it should fit. The USB three point out. All right, all right, all right. Plug and play. Oh, that got real dark. We need that. JUSB 3 sounds like the USB 3.0, right? That sounds reasonable. We don't know. I think Duke can fell asleep at his desk. I think I'm on my own. J audio one will work for audio. Well, I'm talking about USB. I only 
only have one USB. And only one of these is labeled USB 3. And this is definitely connector will only fit in the JUSB 3 because it's a USB 3.0 slot. Okay, there's that. HD audio you said would work in J Audio 1, right? Cable management in here is going to be terrible. Dugan, can I ask you a serious question? Are you doing something else? Because if you are, please tell me so I'll stop asking you questions. Because... I'm like sitting here waiting on answers from you, and if you're not gonna give them to me, I'd just like to know. I cannot tell you if that's in or not. Oh, yes. It's in. Okay. I think. Alright, audio's in. I asked about the audio one again. I said, are you sure it's the J-D or J-R? And then I gave up and just plugged it in. Okay, this is just USB. That one's in. Now I have these yeah, tiny ones. One's power switch, HDD LED plus, and power LED plus and minus. SMB power switch and the power. 
Any idea where I might be looking for these pin connectors? I think these are the last two things I have to plug in, honestly. Power switch. Power switch is like a wee baby two prong. This other one, HDD LED, is a two, and the power LED plus and minus are each one, and they're split. is the RAM, but the RAM at the top, connectors are at the bottom. J, FP1, and FP2. I found JF1. But it's just JF. There's no P. JS, JSP. Hold on, wait, where's my manual? I feel like this should have it labeled somewhere. Oh, apparently behind the video card there are these SATA connectors. SATA cable into the motherboard? Or do you think it's okay how it is? Page 33. case of SATA cable goes to the power supply. Okay. That should be good then. If the colors of the fans don't work, I guess I won't be too upset. Okay. Okay, I found JFP2. What goes into JFP2? No, Jeff. I don't think it's labeled. I found it. 
Of course it's behind this thing that I already plugged in. All right, that's not coming out. So it is like, here. The JF P1 has like a shit ton of things that I could plug into it. Two, four, six, eight, nine. It's got nine slots. Okay, yeah. Alright, I see. Cool. Alright, 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 alright. sad about this, but whatever. Pay attention to the chart. Yep, yep, yep. I will pay very close attention to said chart. see what I'm doing around the cables, but it's, it's in there. Alright. Sorry, there's a weird labeling going on. I didn't realize that's what that was. Okay. HDD LED positive slash negative. Okay. The HDD positive slash negative is one piece. And it says positive and negative, but it does not tell me on the strip which one is positive and which one is negative. Because it's just one, like, bit. If you can kind of see that in my hand, it is just a two prong. And the whole thing on it says positive negative. I do not know which one is positive and which one is negative of these two slots. Power LED is two separate ones and it's labeled. Like, I can do that one. Same with the power switch. It's just a two prong and it doesn't say which one's positive, which one's negative. And the reset set switch is plugged in on the back. Can you see the color of the cable? Cables are the same colors. They're both black. Uh, one has an arrow. Arrow probably means positive, would be my guess. Yeah, both the cables are just black.
True. Okay. I'm gonna assume positive is going with the arrow. Goes. Jesus Christ. I should have done these tiny ones first. That's in. Power LED, which one are you? You're positive. Go. This can't be right though. Oh, no, I just plugged this one into the wrong one. There we go. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. plug the reset switch in. The reset switch was plugged into that thing on the back with the SATA. That was already plugged in for me. I hope it works. That should be it. I think I'm done. Aside from, you know, managing the cables. Oh, I have this. Where do you go? You're a fan of some kind. I have one more thing to plug in. I have this. It's the rear fan. in the back of the case. It's this fan. There should be... The CPU fan's already plugged in. System fan. Got it. Can I thread this behind the video card?
Boom. Okay, done. For real. Amber, thank you. I'm more proud of myself that I managed to schedule four people in four different time zones for a movie night. In all honesty. That is everything. Plugged in. It is all there. Plug it into the wall and hope for the best. Um, I mean, okay. I, uh... These are upside down. The words. Did I put my video card in upside down? I mean, the fan goes down, right? That was the only way it really could go. Yeah, that's the way it had to go. Okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> Nothing. It's on. The switch. The switch. On. Nothing. I know how a power switch works, dude. Oh! I only know how some power switches work because I'm an idiot! I do, I have many pretty lights. It is on. Alright. Um I think what I'm gonna do is just steal this monitor that's already plugged in. I know. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Um, even though, like, eventually I will be using an actual other thing, I'm gonna steal my dual monitor HDMI cable for now. Yes, the inside of these gloves are orange. I just need my nails to get that thing out. Alright. H. 
HDMI plugged in. Monitor is doing things. <laughs> Input signal not found. Going to sleep. Something I did wrong with the video card? Yeah, it says, at least for the HDMI input, it's saying that it's not found. Try plugging it directly into the motherboard. Into the video card? I think I did. Yeah, that's where I plugged it in. my flash drive out. Plug into the motherboard, not the video card. Is there an off? Oh, I see. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. trying plugging in uh, one of the other cables motherboard only has one HDMI slot does not seem to register it. I have the two uh, data cables that I can try and set. Reset your RAM video. Okay. So turn everything off. I am grounded. I'm not on the carpet. Reset your RAM. Take it completely, oh Jesus. That's the fucking easiest thing in the world to do. Okay. 
Is there a right way versus wrong way to put the ram in? I got that. It'll only go in one way. Okay. Then I had it the right way. Let's get that one. Okay. It clicked in. You want me to reset the video card too? That might be more tricky. take this back out unless I unscrew it. Hold on. Out. Do not think I can set it in there any more firmly. Okay. Hey Cloth, welcome back. I'm glad you had a good nap. I'm never gonna sleep. I'm gonna be up all night long. Okay. I'm ready to try this again, I think. Are nicely plugged in. Then try the display port cable.
If not, this will be the saddest three and a half hours of my life. Port cable. The post the HDMI. I gotta find it. There we go. At least another monitor. Fuck. Only the video card has display port cables. So, cannot plug directly into the motherboard. Cable somewhere, I wouldn't be surprised. Nothing on the monitor. and select proper boot device. Hot dicks! Where'd that SD card go? mouse or anything plugged in. USB drives, infinite flips. Alright, there we go. Okay. So I guess the best I can say is lukewarm dick. Is it because it's cold in Norway? Amber, I love you. Have a great rest of your night. Um, let's install English. Yup. I did, I'm clicking. 
looking next? Hey, fantasy! It does, in fact, fucking live. Yeah, Rose, it sounds to me like you just need a special little lady. Install Windows, you can do it! Setup is starting. While that occurs, I'm gonna do some shenanigans back here. Oh lord. Cute, Rozo. I'm so fucking invested. No lie. Alright, that setup is starting. The fuck are my zip ties? Wait, I thought I did this. What operation system do I want? There's like a shit ton of Windows 10s. Educational? Enterprise? Pro? Pro N? Something it isn't in. Pro. T Windows 10 Enterprise not in. Got it. Copying Windows files. Where the heck are my zip ties? I had them. Those are just strange cables. This is not zip ties. colors. I'm into it. Is there a right way to do cable management? That sounds like a silly question. I mean, I'm sure somebody would tell me yes.
Oh, it's so pretty. Airflow and ventilation are goals. Noted. I feel like these two cables should have gone through this hole, but whatever. I might do that. <laughs> um. That's gonna be my plan, Dugan. Rozo, I've heard that before, and I've heard it many times before, and it's a big problem for me because I have oral fixation, so I like to put things in my mouth. Bring on the dirty jokes, I'm ready for it, I hear it all the time. Um, so like, things go in my mouth. If I'm trying to figure out what's like, if I was trying to figure out earlier what like one of these screws was and I couldn't tell like what the material was because I was wearing the gloves, I instantly just put it in my mouth out of habit to like figure out what it was. All the things go in my mouth all the time. I used to have a tongue ring um, to try to help with that. Add a second keyboard layout. Yeah, let's add Norwegian. I have this on. I have this on my laptop. It's fun. Um, but I used to have a tongue ring, but I kept losing it because I would chew on it. to the internet to finish set up, but it's not finding the Corgi network. It's finding the Amplify. Isn't that your work one? It's doing things. Isn't it pretty, Hooch? Well, you devious son of a bitch. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, Rosal. I'm into that. Feel it. Look how pretty it is, Hooch. It's much pretty. Oh, there it is. Corgi party. Oh shit, I don't have a, where's my keyboard at? <sighs> the fuck is that cable on the bottom? Which one? this like you're gonna be able to <laughs> I know right <laughs> fucking idiot this this one right here
the thing touching the rear slots? This one? Oh, that's the, uh, that's this fan. So there's a fan right here. It's just going behind the video card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm installing windows. So exciting. Why can I not connect? I can't connect to the Gorgi party. But why? Yeah, true. It's my phone number, right, Dukin? I'm not going crazy, that's the password. plug it from my laptop because my laptop is streaming I'm afraid I'm gonna crash OBS no it's Wi-Fi Strange. Well, <sighs> Hooch got me figured out, yo. He like bitch boy. Lord, um, this might crash OBS. Try Jesus, don't try me, cause I fight. Yo, that's the best thing I've ever heard. Um, I'm gonna try unplugging this ethernet cable from my laptop. This may or may not crash OBS. If it crashes OBS, thank you all for hanging out with me while I built this. This was super dope, and I'm really excited. Um, tomorrow morning is D and D for those of you who are into that, bright and early at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Here we go. Hey, look at you, OBS. Crap. How's that, computer? Hello! assume that the simp point was in fact for this beast that I just built because I can only assume that you as another electrical engineer is very satisfied by PC building I just don't think this PC likes the internet not just for ethernet Ugh. well it's funny because it is not finding the ethernet. Maraviva! This is identifying 
Was the Ethernet cable actually plugged into the router? Is that why it went so smoothly when I unplugged it? Hmm. Everything was in fact a dream. Dugan's just been like, guys, just roll with it. She's gone absolutely bonkers. friends request I love getting fucking single men adding me on Facebook like I don't know what you think my response is gonna be to this but it's never positive I would love to be able to like connect to the internet they always do All right, let's try this one then. Do can be feeding me passwords. That one worked. Dope. Thanks, Dukin. in with my Microsoft account. Stim pack princess. Doop. This doesn't look like a work or a school email address. Rude? Okay. wants me to type in an email address, <laughs> but it doesn't like the ones that I'm using. I don't have a work or a school account, so no. Domain join instead? Are we going to call this PC, guys? What are we going to call this PC? Hmm. Stim's pack. More like Stim's rack. still blowing your mind that you're like, fuck, I remember when that happened. <laughs> no, it's never too soon. Love it. Calling it. I don't, I don't know. I kind of like Enclave where Rosa was going with it. 
I think Rosa wins. I like your joke though, Pooch. We call it the vault. <laughs> literally almost spit my fucking coke out all over this keyboard at Caesar's Legion sucks. <laughs> what was my favorite vault? Let's go that route. I like what Rosa was thinking. the one guy who was cloned like a bunch of times yeah but 108 that's the one done I was looking it up. Fucking that, it was the best. Hi, Gary, and of course, Gary. Yup. Fucking love it. <laughs> oh, now I gotta do security questions. Where should my security questions be? I'll shout out the answers. Social security number is one, right? <laughs> yeah, Rosa, you can t exactly fucking text me that. Yo, Hooch, that would be a good one. Except I literally talk about you all the time. What was the name of the first school you attended? Ooh, that'd be a good one. Because it's not the one that I graduated from. My mouth is struggling a little. Yo, if there was a fucking place called Corgi High, there's a place in Detroit, I think it is, no, uh, Colorado, that's called the Corgi Bar, and I want to go there so bad, but they don't allow dogs, so I can't go with the Corgis. I'm real upset about it. Wild Corgi Pub. Love it. Did not go. Did not allow Corgis. I know. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. Oh my. Well, as this is going to take now several minutes to finish setting up, I think I am going to go ahead and end stream there. Oh, I can still read you a story, though. I know y'all are about that. Because I can do it from my phone. What is this? Oh, that's that cable. It's like, damn, what the fuck is that? Let's see if we can find a short one. 
And read all the fun, sexy things that Norwegian people like to fantasize about. And write folk tales about. Corgi Lingist? Like Cunnilingus? Sign me the fuck up. <sighs> Yo, Tom Thumb took me on a wild ass ride. Oh, look, it started. Yo. Snoot boop. Dope, dope, dope. Tom Thumb was, in fact, wild. Alright, here we go. This should be good. Let me uh, turn off the music. Okay. Tonight's story is called The Three Ants. From the complete and original Norwegian folk tales of Asperger of Mo. There once was a, ma a poor man who had a hut deep in the forest and lived on whatever he could hunt. He had one daughter, and she was both lovely and fair. The mother had died when the child was quite young, but the girl was now half grown. She said that she wanted to seek out folks so she could learn to make her own living. Yes, my daughter, said her father. It is true enough that I've taught you only how to pluck and fry birds. You still must learn how to make your living. So the girl set off to find herself a job. After she walked a while, she came upon a royal prince. Oh, I'm sorry, a royal palace, and that is where she stayed. The queen favored her so highly that the other maids grew jealous of her. They told the queen that the girl had boasted she could spin a pound of flax in 24 hours for the queen was especially fond of all sorts of handiwork. Well, if you said that, then that is what you shall do, the queen told the girl, though I'll grant you a little more time than that. The poor girl didn't dare say that she had never learned to spin. She merely asked for a chamber all her own. She was given the chamber along with a spinning wheel and flax, which was carried inside. There she sat, weeping in distress, for she had no idea what to do. She studied the spinning wheel, twisting and turning, but she didn't know how to use it. She'd never seen a spinning wheel before. As she sat there, an old woman came into the room. What is wrong, my child? she asked. Oh, said the girl, it will do no good for me to tell you. I'm sure you won't be able to help me. You don't know that, said the woman. It may well be that I could give you good advice. Hmm, thought the girl. I might as well tell her. So she told the woman how the other maids had reported that she had boasted she could spin a pound of flax in 24 hours. Poor girl that I am, she said. I've never in all my days even seen a spinning wheel much less learn how to spin so much flax in a day and a night. Well, don't worry about that, my child, said the woman. If you call me your aunt on your wedding day, then I'll spin the flax for you. You can just go over there and lie down to sleep. The girl gladly agreed. Then she lay down to sleep. In the morning when she awoke, the spun flax lay on the table, and it looked both fine and lovely. No one had ever seen yarn so beautiful and so evenly spun. The queen was terribly pleased with the beautiful yarn, and she grew even more fond of the girl than before. But the others grew even more jealous of her. They decided to tell the queen that now the girl had boasted that in 24 hours she could weave all of the yarn she had spun. Again, the girl didn't dare say no. She asked for a chamber all her own, and then said she would try her best. There she sat once more, weeping and carrying on. She didn't know what she was going to do. Then another old woman came in and said, What is wrong, my child? At first the girl didn't want to explain, but finally she told the old woman why she was sad. Well 
said the old woman. Don't worry about that. If you call me your aunt on your wedding day, I'll do the weaving for you. You can just go over there and lie down to sleep. The girl gladly agreed, and she lay down to sleep. When she awoke, the bundle of cloth lay on the table, woven as finely and evenly as any weaving could be. The girl picked up the bundle and took it to the queen, who was very pleased with the weaving. She grew even more fond of the girl, but the others grew even more jealous of her. All they could do was think of what they were going to try next. Finally, they told the queen that the girl had now boasted that in 24 hours she could sew the bundle of cloth into shirts. The same thing happened as before. The girl didn't dare say that she couldn't sew. Once again, she went to her own chamber and sat there weeping in great distress. Then another old woman appeared. She promised to do the sewing if the girl would say that she was her aunt on her wedding day. The girl was more than happy to keep the promise. Then she did as the woman said and lay down to sleep. In the morning when she awoke, she found the bundle of shirts lying on the table. No one had ever seen such beautiful seams before. The shirts were finely sewn and lovely to behold. When the queen saw this handiwork, she was practically in stitches with joy, and she clapped her hands. Never in have I seen or been given such beautifully sewn shirts, she said. But then she was as fond of the girl as if it was her own child. If you wish to have the prince, then you shall have him, said the queen to the girl, for you never need hire out any work. You can do all the sewing and spinning and weaving yourself. Since the girl was beautiful and the prince found her pleasing, their wedding was held at once. The moment the prince sat down at the wedding table with his bride, an old and ugly woman appeared. Her nose looked to be six feet long. Then the bride stood up, curtsied, and said, Good day, auntie. Is she the aunt of my bride? said the prince. Yes, she certainly was. Well, then she must take a seat at the table, said the prince, yet both he and everyone else thought that she was a vile person to have at the table. All of a sudden, another old and ugly woman came in. Her backside was so fat and wide that she could barely squeeze through the door. At once, the bride stood up to greet her. Good day, auntie. Again, the prince asked if she was an aunt of his bride. Both replied yes. And the prince said if that was the case, she too should take a seat at the table. Hardly had she sat down before another old and ugly woman appeared. Her eyes were as big as plates and so red and watery that they were a terrible sight to behold. Again, the bride stood up and greeted her. Good day, auntie. The prince invited her to take a seat at the table too, but he wasn't happy and he thought to himself, God help me, what horrible ants my bride has. After he sat there for a while, he couldn't stand it any longer and asked, How in all of the world can my bride, who is so lovely, have such vile and deformed looking aunts? I will tell you, said one of them. I was just as beautiful as your bride when I was her age. But the region, the reason I have such a long nose is because I've sat bending and bowing over my spinning wheel. My nose stretched and stretched until it grew as long as you see it now. And ever since I was young, said the second old woman, I've sat and slid back and forth on the bench of my loom. That is how my backside got as big and swollen as you see it now. Then the third old woman said, From the time I was a child, I sat and threaded as I sewed, all night and all day. And that's why my eyes have grown so foul and red, and nothing more can be done about them. I see, said the prince. I'm glad I found out about this. If that's how folks become so ugly and vile, then my bride will never again spin or weave or sew for the rest of her days. The end. That was a fun one! I feel like that one at least kind of had a moral to it. 
Um, anyway, thank you all for hanging out with us. Um, PC build, this was a lot of fun. I'm happy to say that it's working. Like, it, it started up. I have a screen. Um, I have a lot more work to do tonight. Um, obviously, I gotta get things ready for tomorrow, bright and early. Um, Freaky Dingo, thank you for the offline follow. We Float, thank you for resubscribing for seven months. Um, I hope you had a good stream. I think you were streaming. Um, Jake, thank you for the follow. And sorry about your weird thing that you said when you came in. Um, Diplalia, thank you for the biddies. And Hooch, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Mata. Um, let's find someone to raid. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll take them. Otherwise, I gotta pull something up. Mm -mm. Oh, Dally's such a mad lad. Doo -doo -doo. Hit the end. Yup. We did it. Who we got? Na na na. All the people. Oh, you know what? We'll read We Float. He was in here earlier. Um, you guys, for those of you, like, I love all of you. And I know you all know how I am. When I first started streaming, I tried very hard um, to be a clean streamer. And then I realized that that is not who I am. So that doesn't mean that I don't still support clean streamers. We Float is a clean streamer. Please, please, please represent me at least somewhat well and keep your, you know, sassy, sexy innuendos to a minimum low key. Um, but as always, I love you all so much. Um, I'll see those of you bright and early tomorrow morning for those of you who are in. I am going to stream Cyberpunk tomorrow night. Not sure when, but we will. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Good night, guys.